Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, it's going to be an interesting subject, and I'm going to explain all to you how to be successful on YouTube having a review channel, reviewing different products, like many products on my channel are power tools, and I review different ways of using them, and different subjects where I say I'm reviewing a certain way how to do something. So, the subject came up with one of my viewers. I've had many viewers that decided they wanted to, you know, try going into YouTube as well. And the one fellow said to me, Steve, I really like the way that you do your, uh, your reviews on your channel. And I'd like to, you know, do reviews like you. And I thought to myself, oh, something fell down. And I thought to myself, you know what? I am not the right guy <laughs> for, for being an example of a real review channel that's very successful for many reasons. And, and the one main reason is that everything that you see on my channel is just me buying it myself and reviewing it myself. And I don't take a lot of things very seriously. Nothing I do on my channel is really like, I would say, any kind of professional. And I want to use a perfect example of a review I did last month and it was about this DeWalt cordless uh, angle grinder. Guys, when I took all that apart, if you want I'll put a link down in the description or one of the boxes at the end here and show you about that video. But it came with an Allen wrench and I got like a, a different one here now. I got a longer one. But I couldn't figure out what this was for. And a professional reviewer would know exactly what it was for. And I'll tell you something, I've got lots of these angle, you know, grinder wrenches and I got one that's a, an adjustable one and I just took some of these off the wall and I've got plenty of these retaining nuts that hold the uh, grinder discs on there and I just took it for granted that uh, DeWalt didn't have a clue what was going on when they put that... Uh, one of these Allen key wrenches in there because I couldn't figure out what it was for. So finally one of my viewers, more than one actually mentioned it, but the first one was, uh, I believe his name is Steve Campbell from Idaho. I think it's Idaho. I hope I got that right. But uh, he said it's for this nut here. So I come up to the garage and looked at it. I went back in the house and I replied back. I said, no, no, the holes are completely smooth. So, <laughs> guys, I tell you, that's the difference between a professional that does tool reviews and somebody who just doesn't know, and I did not know. So if you take a look at this, hope you can see that. But there are two holes, there are two holes that this wrench will fit into. And the other two, are completely smooth. So what did I do? I come out here and I looked at the smooth one. Right? <laughs> and I figured if it was going to be you know a captured kind of Allen wrench it would be in all of them. But no, only two. So that's why I was completely baffled on that. So of course I had to get myself one of these that fit and of course, it will not fit on two sides, but the other two, it will. And, you know, I was completely baffled by this. And, you know, my eyes aren't the best as it is. And when I first looked at this, I was looking at the smooth hole. And I said, no, there's nothing in there. It's completely smooth. So, if you want, you can take a look at that video and then see the conversation we had. So, I had to go back out in the garage again with the flashlight and check it out. And of course, he was completely right. And that's the best part about YouTube. I'm not a professional, and I learn just as much from my viewers as I do, you know, as I'm trying to show everybody else. And, you know, when it comes to reviewing items on a channel, what should you do? Well, I just review the stuff that really that I buy myself or stuff that I use, and I don't take it too seriously. But there are really good reviewers out there. I only watch one fellow and I've watched him for years and years and years and uh, his name is Daniel and when he puts out a video 
he gets more views on one video than I get on my whole channel for like almost four years of being on YouTube. So that's the difference between if you want to have a successful YouTube channel reviewing items, you know, looking at somebody like what, what I do, nah, you know what, if you want to know anything about YouTube and how to be successful on YouTube, take a look at the people that are successful. And Daniel is probably, well, he's the only channel that I watch that he reviews tools and that kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I thought it was kind of, you know, flattering at first that somebody wants to actually emulate something like I do on my channel and reviewing. But if you take a look at my views, my views are really tiny. I'm just having a lot of fun on YouTube. I'm retired. I enjoy doing this. I don't take it too seriously. And I'm far from a professional when it comes to anything that you see on my channel. But Daniel is not. Daniel is, as far as I'm concerned, the best... Uh, tool reviewer on YouTube. I know there's other people out there and you know I don't know everybody on YouTube and I don't go looking for any other tool review channels either. I only really watch you know a limited amount of channels like everybody else can and I really enjoy Daniel's channel and I'll put a link down to Real Tool Reviews with Daniel and if you want to know like everybody else has asked me questions about you know starting up your own channel and and how do you do it? Well, I suggest you take a look at Daniel's channel, take a look at the link below, and take a look how he has his page set up. Take a look at the views he has, and his format, and watch what he does. Because this is a professional. This is not somebody like me that's just out in my garage, you know. And of course, explaining something like this that a professional tool reviewer would know. And I didn't know, right? And I'm not a professional at anything. But I just like to have a lot of fun and do the best I can with what I know. But, uh, yeah, for all of you that are thinking about maybe starting up a tool review channel, I suggest checking out the link below and watching some of Daniel's videos and see for yourself how he does it. And look at his format and look how his page is set up. And... You know, this is, this is the only way that I could suggest to anybody how to start doing tool reviews and how you should do them. And for me, it's a no-brainer. You know, look at what the, the guys that are very successful actually do. So thanks for joining me here today, and I hope that was a little informative. I got a big kick out of this angle grinder video that I did because, <laughs> guys, I was completely lost. And I'm just, you know, so grateful that I've got great viewers watching my channel helping me out as well. So come back again. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. And uh, watch somebody that does tool reviews, but not in such a serious fashion. Cheers.